all right welcome and welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel consider subscribing to the subscribe button click on the notification icon so that you don't miss my video whenever i post video so in today's video we are teaching you how to design a saloon flyer and like i taught you before i'll going we are going to print this design so and i made a video on how to save your design for print so without mentioning words let's get straight to the video so this is the background we are working with we are working with a white background then this is the picture here we just activate the picture to come out this is the picture we are working with so you first of all increase this picture this way increase it this way then over to this picture you are seeing this down picture here this place i'm touching now you are seeing it is it's not branding to the background though i've made a video on how to brand your picture to the background but let me do it here the first thing you will do is to create a new shape here over this place you will see radius and you will see opacity but what we we'll do now is to go to the stroke color you put it to the same color here the stroke wide you increase it to the highest then you draw it you draw this thing this way after you click ok so this is it let's select the color again this is the color yes so this is it as you are seeing this shape now it has a blur part on it what you do is to be pressing it on the edges that is not blur as you are doing you will be copying and pasting be doing it like this to you. the whole part blend well with the background as you are seeing you are seeing what is happening here the picture is now brand look at the original picture but when you bring it down it's now brand to the background this is the first step here then another thing we are going to do here is to put the name give it bring it here increase this this is just a cool and simple design we are making so over here now is to change we have to change this to go board Go bold. Click OK. The name of the font is Go Bold. Then we change this to LED. But we'll make this LED a darker one by selecting to this place. You click OK. Okay. Then come to this place and lock this we use to bring the picture to the background <sighs> okay then i think we should try yellow to this place we put lead let's see how it will look like that's how to to check colors if you add and you don't like it you check another color until you get the one you like but we don't like this yellow it's not coming out well not coming out right let's use the lead we have selected before then another thing is to put this beauty beauty word
okay this is it we go to board this test here then we come to the font we are making use of as you can see when you come to where you save your font as far as you know the name of the font you are working with what you do is just to click on this place the light search you now search the font the one i want to make use of is called back to back demo i will just start typing it to come out back to back both demo click okay that's it just increase this thing a little bit increase it this way not going to work because yellow and the white are not Then we are going to leave it at black because this is the color that is beautiful and brighter. So this is it. Another thing now is to, is to put in the thing they are doing. Put it in. I've copied this test. I'll just paste it here. When you want to paste it, just click and hold this place and leave it this way. This thing will come out. Just paste it. This is it. And click OK. Now I'm put it here. Bring this one here. Keep this one here. Then you have to reduce this size. Give it. OK. Then we'll go and change the font the color this to led this way then another thing we are going to do is to use this zero this circle to form a bullet you know we have something we call bullets and numbering those things you use to list the items you are making use of. So this is it. We are using this thing now as the bullet. I like this one now. Just copy it. Come over to relative position. Put it somewhere near to the place. Then now use your position to bring it to the place. This one is okay. You copy another one, bring it also to the place. You are seeing what I'm doing here. I'm using position to bring this thing down. But when I want to do it slowly, I reduce this move by 1px. So I will now copy the last one. I copy it, I, I go back to my position, bring it down. This is cool. You can use this your guideline to check what you do to know if they are on a straight line so when do you need to close it back this is it then another thing we are going to do now is to put in the the contacts here this is the contacts yeah we don't want to make use of the contacts icon just this Mm. 
Yes, this is it. Now click. Okay. Bring this one down here. Go and bold this this way. Then go to alignment. You have alignment. You click on align to center. You see what happened. Then we we'll now reduce this this way. I think you leave it at 20. That's it. Then another thing we are going to do is to import one or two pictures that we have. So we go to where it's located. Just select. We select this one. This is, you see this thing now, when you want to, this is how we power clip something inside a circle. Just click on this circle down below here. This thing will come out. Now click, okay. This thing will now go inside a circle. Just this way. You bring this one here. Give it a stroke. A stroke is like an outline. Then you can increase the outline width to four. Then go and add it shadow. You see, you can move your shadow any place you want. Then you reduce this shadow bro this way. You go and import another one. Import another one. We are coming to the end of this video. Then let's import the last thing here. Let's use this place. They are doing cut as this. I'm looking for the thing. Yes, this is it. Let's make use of this one. So this is it here. We add shadow to this thing. Add shadow to it. Then Last look to this thing. That's it. This is it for this video. If you find this video interesting, share it to your friends and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. See you next time in my next video.